Hello everybody, it's me, Lukagen. I'm back. Is everyone done crying over Shadow of the Colossus? I hope so, because we've got something fun in store. Let's start. Another DOS box game. By the great makers of King's Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest. What quest do we have now? What could it be? That's right, I'm playing Quest for Glory. Three! Wages of War. Let me give you a quick um, reason to why I'm doing this. I am not doing um, Quest for Glory 1 or 2 because an L peer who I really admire by the name of Late Blight has already done Quest for Glory 1, 2, and 4. And he does an amazing job with those. So even though this is kind of in the middle of the series, we should still be okay and get a gist of what happened. I implore you to please go to his page um, when you can and please watch his uh, Let's Plays of 1 and 2. They are incredibly entertaining. He's very knowledgeable about the series and I hope I can do this one justice. He didn't play this one because he wasn't very familiar with it. Um, and this one is kind of the bastard child, I think, of all of them. Uh, there's actually five altogether. And um, this one I think was the least popular, but this is the one that I'm most familiar with, so I'm going to play it. This is a really cool um, adventure game done by Sierra, but it's a little different from King's Quest because um, it has adventure elements that we know and love, but it's also very RPG-ish in a way as well. So it kind of combines both. You have um, two options here. You can import a character from King's Quest 1 and 2. Um, this gives you a lot of different stat bonuses. Um, it helps you do a paladin quest, which we'll talk about a little later. But I'm just going to start new. So I have nothing to import. Create. And we should get a character screen where we can pick. Three different jobs. Fighter. Magic user. Dur, magician. And a thief. Each one has different um, puzzles and s different outcomes of certain things. I mean, the storyline generally is the same thing, but there's going to be different ways to solve things. I'm going to go with a good old fighter, because the fighter is the only one that can become a paladin in this game. Um, it's kind of like a side quest where if you act honorably, you can become something and transcend. I'm going to try to do that. Name, what do you think? Yes, Luca. Now you can see we've got all kinds of stats here. If you've ever played RPGs, I'm sure you're familiar with most of these. Um, we don't have any magic as a fighter, although you can add it if you want to. I'm not going to do that. We have 50 available points to mess around with here. Um, if you want to use them towards something that you don't have, like stealth or climbing or magic, um, it'll take 10 automatically just to start the skill. So we're not going to do that. What I am going to do is up weapon use, parry, dodge. I'm also going to start climbing, although I don't think we really need it. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do throwing because that's really annoying to me later. These are things we actually have to level up. Strength. Um, and vitality are the most important things for a fighter. Intelligence and agility, meh. You'll get them as you go. Luck is kind of a, a crapshoot. I'm not sure how it works. It mostly works with bargaining, I think, in, weapon, in uh, item drop. I didn't explain that very well at all. When Late Blight does his introductions of 1 and 2, he does really awesome explanations, so yeah. Don't mind me! Alright, we're gonna do this. This looks fine. Now, also you'll notice there's some two uh, skills that are a little bit different. There's communication, which is how well you speak, and this actually does have an uh, outcome on how you do in the game, and your honor, how honorably you act. This also has an outcome with uh, regarding how people uh, relate to you, so that's important too. And this music is awesome! Let's start! There's a lot of talking in this game. Holy crap, let's get ready. Alright, this is us right over here. This is Aziza, she's an enchantress from the, for, uh, the second game. I thank you, Rakesh and my prince, for answering my summons. I have information for both of you. As you know, three months ago in Rasir, the evil Adavis attempted to unleash the genie Iblis in order to rule the world. This is a backstory that happened in two. 
What do we got here? Ooh, who's that? Adavi stood before his hexagram, preparing to unleash the foul Iblis to do his bidding. Through Jew power! Look at that! Hear me, O oh dark powers! Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever! Look at that! Look at you. Looks like an asshole. And here we come! Boink. <laughs> and by knocking over a single candle with our foot, we broke the seal of Suleiman by moving the candle. This is one of the outcomes you had if you were a fighter. I think you just kind of kind of goes through what would happen. If you picked Mage and Thief, it would show you something different. You idiot! You've destroyed my spell! Now you shall be destroyed! Oh no! What? This ring of fire thing again, really? Fool, you cannot hurt me now, and I shall send thee to thy death! Oh, with a brave attempt. Oh, come on. No, no, master, help me! Thud. Your Jew powers failed you. You passed through the raging flames and sent Adavis falling to his doom. God, we're brave. Yes. I bet you want me now, don't you? When Adavis died, his magical power was released, and I could sense the moment of his death. Such a release of power could be felt by skilled magic users all over the world. Still, there is some mystery concerning the death of Adavis. Ugh. He's even more ugly when he's, like, pixelated. It is very disturbing that the body of Adavis could not be found. Even with all my magic, I cannot determine who, or what, removed the body or what became of it afterwards. Well, you know the law. If you can't find the body, that means you're in pretty big trouble. I believe the unbinding of Adavi's power could well have other, darker results. Now we are again in my house in Shapir. Hero, you have become the Prince of Shapir by order of the Sultan, Harun al-Rashid. Shapir is the city of the second quest for glory. The Sultan decides to uh, adopt us as a prince due to our heroic uh, efforts of the second game. Rakesh now desires to return to his home in Tarna. Last night, I received this message from the sorceress Krisha in Tarna. This guy right here, the lion guy, is Rakesh. He is your friend from the second game. Ooh. Please tell Rakesh he must return quickly to Tarna. There is serious talk of war here, and I think only Rakesh can now bring peace. I believe there is more to this war than just the anger of two tribes. I believe that a demon has again broken through to this land and seeks to destroy us all. In three days, a magical portal will open in Shapir to take Rakesh back to Tarna. I suggest that if you, Prince of Shapir, wish to truly be a hero, you accompany Rakesh. If there is indeed a demon, it is probable it was released into this world by the death of Adavis. You must stop it and send it back to its own world. Alright. Well, we'll do that. We'll be that hero. He's had so many adventures in the first two games, surely this will be okay. The Palace of the Sultan of Shapir, three days later. It greatly grieves me to say farewell to such fine friends and honored guests. I don't want to hear anything about how I'm going to butcher these accents. Nothing at all. Rakish, you are a great aid to me, and I sorrow to see you return to Tarna. Oh, great sultan, it has been an honor to serve you. Uhura, warrior of the Simbani, you have been a most excellent guild master for the Adventurers Guild, and a gifted instructor of combat. Thank you for your services to Shapir. Uhura is this lady right here. You meet her in the second one as well. She is, as he says, the Adventurers Guild. Uh, master and you can fight with her to level up in the second game. I leave Shapir with a great treasure, my son Simba. I never forget this place, but it will be good to go home again. My son, it breaks my heart to see you leave. You will always have a home here in Shapir. Well, he's not really his son, I mean he just adopted him like, f what, five minutes ago? I send you with a magical gift. I give you a magical shield which will help protect you from magical attacks. May you never need to use it. You get a different gift depending on what uh, 
class you take. A thief and a wizard will get something different. I bow to you. Ooh. Sultan, the magical portal to Tarna appears. Farewell, I love you. May you find the peace you seek. So we've peacefully made this town all right. Now let's go to another town that needs our help. There's so much talking in this game. Holy crap, I'm going to mess up everybody's accents so bad. Ooh, look at this place. Three Egyptian. I like it. Comes Uhura with her baby. And Rakish, the paladin lion tour. It is good to see you again, Krisha. It is good to be with you again, Rakish. Krisha, you have met Uhura of the Simbani village before. This is her son, Simba. Hibari warrior, it is good to see you again, Uhura. That son of yours looks like a strong and healthy young cub. Missouri Krisha, thank you for helping me return. Simba and I need to be getting back to my people. Kwaherini. I don't want to hear anything about my bad Jamaican accent. Kwaheri warrior, Uhura. Oh my god, there's so much talking in this. Farewell! Alright, you get out of here, we'll see you later. Holy Moses. This is the young hero whom Aziza spoke with you about whom she spoke with us, right? He is the adopted Prince of Shapir and a most honorable man. Ooh. I am most honored to meet you, Prince of Shapir. Alright, quick run down, really fast. Bar is up here. Normal icons for an adventure game. Walk. Look. Touch. Talk. This is called special. When you click on this, we have a couple of options. We have run, sneak, which we can't do as a warrior, sleep, a profile, and I want to bring this up real quick. The profile is very important. Here's our stats as we speak. Um, when we talked about how important communication was, you're going to figure out why. Right now it's 90, and we have a lot, and our honor is 50, so everyone remember that. We have a lot of uh, leveling to do. When you meet people or when they see you, you want to click the mouth on yourself and greet them first. This is uh, going to raise your honor and your communication by being polite. So we're going to greet Krisha. You will always be welcome in our house, young hero. And since I've greeted her now, I can ask her about a whole bunch of things. I mean, as long as you get the greet in there somewhere, even if you do it after the conversation, I think it still counts. Don't quote me. Holy shit, we have a lot to talk about. Crap. Welcome to our land, Princess Shapir. Tarna is an ancient city, and you will find much to do here. Okay. Tell me about lion tours, which I guess are you people. We lion tours are a proud race, sometimes too proud for our own good. Most lion tours live in the eastern section of the city, away from humans. I have chosen to live in the western section with the humans. They are as much a part of Tarna as our people. Okay, so she seems nice. Tell me about magic. I'm a worker of spells, specializing in teleportation and communication. The magical portal which brought you here is an example of my magic. Okay, so she obviously knows a lot. Tell me about the portal. The magical portal allows people to travel across distances. It is a difficult spell to create, for it takes an incredible amount of magic and can only be done through ritual. Okay. I don't like how it branches off, because then you have to like backtrack a million times, but... A ritual is a series of actions and events used as magical spells. Most of my magic is done through ritual, as is much of the magic in this region of the world. Okay. And then when you end, when you come to the end of a tree, you just go to something else and go back to where you were. Tell me about the war that people were saying about. The leader of the Simbani came to Tarna to ask us to ally with the Simbani against the Leopard Men. The Council of Judgment decided to investigate this talk of war. It is most unusual for the Council of Judgment to become involved with the affairs of humans. The Council of Judgment decided to seek a peace mission oh send a, a peace mission into the jungle to speak with the leopard men. It was ambushed at night, and only one human survived to speak of it. Uh oh. Rakesh, Rishaka was the leader of the peace mission. Is she dead then? I do not know. My magic tells me nothing. I do not think so, but that may only be the wishes of a mother's heart rather than true knowledge. Forgive our rudeness, my friend. Rishaka is our daughter. Krisha, let us speak more of this later. Uh-oh. So I guess their daughter is missing after her... 
uh, group got ambushed. Talk about Rakesh. Rakesh is my life mate and my friend. He is also highly respected by the Council of Judgment and Raja, the King of Tarna, and Rakesh's brother. Huh. Okay. Well, now we can talk to him about the same thing. This city and the land around it is called Tarna. It is ruled by my people, the Lion Tours. I hope that you can have the chance to appreciate the beauty of this place. I think so. It seems very nice. Tell me about uh, Uhura. Wait, wasn't Uhura also a black lady in uh, Star Trek? All right, continuity. We will see Uhura and Simba again in a few days, for we will journey together to her village to talk with her people and learn more about the war between the Simbani and the Leopardmen. Okay, that sounds good. Tell me about the Simbani again. The Simbani village is about a day's journey from here. Okay, and what about these Leopardmen people are talking about? What's that about? All I know of the Leopardmen is that they are a tribe of shape sh changers who dwell in the jungle. Oh god, they're not furries, are they? Okay. Tell me about that. <laughs> The shape changers are humans who take on certain aspects of an animal through magic. Oh no! They are! Oh well. The jungle lies several days to the east of Tarna. Okay. Uh, what about war? I will spend the next couple of days finding out more information about this war. We can speak more about this later. I think they're trying to rush me out of here. The lion tours have ruled Tarna for as long as we have existed. Most lion tours have little to do with humans, although that is changing. This talk of war, in some ways, is a good sign, for it means that lion tours begin to accept that the Simbani are our allies and friends. Rakesh, you have been away a long time. There are several members of the Council of Judgment who also respect humans. There are those who call for war, for war's sake. Uh oh, alright, I don't want to start a fight, so... We can also tell about ourselves when we click on ourselves. Um, this helps your communication, and we'll talk about our experiences in Shapir and how we defeated Adavis, which is actually what happened in the second one. The Enchantress Aziza spoke to me of Adavis. You must indeed be a hero to defeat such a wicked wizard. I am, lady. Okay, we can say goodbye now. Just like you have to greet at the beginning of the conversation, you must say goodbye. It helps your communication, and it brings your honor up. You say goodbye to Rakesh and Krisha. Farewell, Prince of Shapir. We will see you later, my friend. Can we even look around here? You are in Kreisha's magic workroom. Here she studies, concocts magical formulas, and performs rituals to perfect her art and to help the people of Tarna. What about this thing over here? Your friend Rakesh is a powerful looking lion tour, but he walks with a limp because of his injured leg. You kind of find out about that in the second one. I'm not going to go too much into it because I don't want to ruin it if you're going to watch it. Krisha is a wise-looking female lion tour. She wears the headdress of a master mag magician. I almost said musician. Okay, and when we walk, we walk awful slow. So what I'm going to do is if I go to special and click... Oh, actually, let's see how much our communication went up from that. 93. Our honor is still 50, but don't worry. That's going to change with the more good deeds that we do. We've only just begun, so it's going to take a little. But what I always do is I run, I run everywhere. <laughs> Running does take down your stamina over time, but it also helps build it up, and we'll talk about that later. I reserved a room in your name at the nearby inn. I can see you are eager to explore our city. Farewell, Prince of Shapir. Farewell, my friend. In two days, I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well. Then we can journey together to the Simbani village. Okay, two days. Let's remember that. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely. You will be welcome at any time. Well, almost any time. After all, Rakesh and I need some time to, uh, speak with one another again after such a long parting. Good day. Yeah, <laughs> you slicky. I get it. I won't bust in on your sexy shenanigans. All right, so this is the upper plateau of Tarna. Let's take a look. You see the middle plateau of Tarna. To the west and below, you can see the tents of the bazaar and the river rolling past the savannah. To the east and above, you can see the huge statues standing over the city. I meant middle, my fault. There's some up here, and there's some down here, and that's what they mean. There's people wandering around, but you can't really talk to these guys. You see a resident of Tarna. So this is Kreisha's house. Reads magic. What's this? Sign which reads apothecary. Ooh. And what's this over here? Signs over the doorway say, Welcome Inn, in various languages. So there's the inn. 
All right, well, we're up to 20 minutes already, and I haven't gotten crap done. Thanks for all the freaking dialogue I had to go through. This whole game is going to be full of that stuff. So when we come back, we will start exploring Tarna and going through this awesome, awesome adventure game full of crappy puns and humor and me messing up at every turn. See you later, guys.